Hey guys, uh, video test, this is one, see if I'm in frame or not. Um, sorry I don't have my tripod here, I'm at work and I just want to do a little video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you the, the software AnyRail. And um, I must say for the beginning railroader or if you're thinking about doing a new layout, you know, or on your second or third layout, this program will save you so much time. Um, I wish I'd even known about it and had it whenever we first got the train set from my, from my oldest son. Um, when it was at Christmas time and we got it for Grafton, um, I didn't know, you know, how we wanted to lay it out and I had ideas and I didn't know how to do it and I was photocopying, you know, copies of, you know, turnouts and laying them on the floor and here at work in the big lobby and I had a whole layout and laying out and cutting and sizing and radiuses and all this kind of stuff and this program is just phenomenal um, what I'm going to show you here in just a second is uh, there's a basic you know just the basic stuff and uh, how quick you can do like a 4 by 8 layout and like that you know real simple and uh, but I, I can't say you know too much good stuff about this program um, but um, hopefully it'll turn out okay if you have any other questions, uh, you can ask me. I think Derek has a copy of it too, as well. Um, everybody's real helpful on the AnyRail uh, website too in the forums. But um, anyway, just uh, sit tight and uh, we'll get to it. All right, thanks. All right, guys. This is the basic the screen here. You know, you have your file, your home, and here's the, all the little stuff that's file, home, insert, track libraries, object libraries, user objects, and settings. All right, when you first get this here, you want to go to settings. Right here, and the width and the depth is, you know, how big your table is going to be. So, let's say we wanted to do, you know, just a 4 by 8 layout. So, so that's... 48 I'm having to do this I'm having to hold the camera here <laughs> and um, oh sorry guys I'm at work so it may be a couple little hesitations here if I hear something I may have to pause this here right quick but um, you know 4 by 8 table I6, enter that, and there's your table. 4 by 8, right there. Okay, there's your table. I've, I've told it to grid size, 12 foot grid, so that's 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot, 4 foot, yada, 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 yada. There's your table. Now, um, let's say you have like a, um, you know, an irregular shape layout, you know, you want to do an L shape layout. Um, I'm just going to show you for this, just for that. You'd go to insert. You could go add a rectangle. And it puts it right there. And that's where that's where your starting point is. You can stretch it this way and do it down that way. Like so. And I'm doing this looking at the screen on my phone. So... It'll be better once it gets bigger. But uh, anyway, so let's say you know you had like some irregular things. You can go over here, right click, add a point, right click below it, add another point, and then you're free to do that kind of stuff. Just add another point. You know, if you had, you know, like a walk around, something like that. But see, there's stuff you can do. That, that's how you make, like, your customized layout. And, of course, you know, behind would be the actual area area you have, you know, in your on your layout and stuff. But uh, let me back this up. That's as easy as Control-Z, Control-Z, Control-Z. And you're back, and then we'll get rid of those points. 
And we're going to get rid of the box too. So, all right, four by eight layout track. Um, you'll go up here to your track libraries. All right, and I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully, it'll be bigger because I'm like I said, I'm looking through my phone viewer. There's G scale, all the uh, manufacturers of G scale, Aristocrat, Bachman, LGB line, El Pico, Pico train line. Um, SM32, 2, 1, O scale, all these are manufacturers of track. S, HO, there's all the manufacturers for HO track. Uh, just for this demonstration, I'm going to do the Bachman. I'm going to do the Bachman Easy Track. And if you see this right here, this gives you a list of all the types of uh, track that's available. <clears throat> and that's not all. You got your elevator bar. And that's all the track available for the Bachman, you know, that you get to play with. And this is really simple. This is a drag and drop thing. Um, I'm going to go over here. And that's a 36 inch piece. You just hold the left mouse button down, drag it over here, and bam! There's your 36 inch piece of track, but it's going the wrong way. Not a problem. Right up here, rotate. We're going to rotate it. 90 degrees. Hit OK. Deselect it. And there's a 36 inch piece of track already laid down. Go over here and get another piece. We're going to rotate it again. There you go. Two 36 inch pieces of track. But let's say we want to have a turnout here. And we're going to back this out too so we can get the whole thing in the In the layout here, and I think I'm gonna add another another one. I do believe now this cool little thing right here. It's a setting where up in here we say join to. There's a little bitty like arrow here down there, and there's little bit arrows on the end of each track like that. All you gotta do, just pull it, let those two little arrows touch, and bamo, there we go. Pretty easy, huh? But I think that's gonna be too big. To get our radius that we want in here, uh, we'll go with the, you know the minimum of the 28 inch radius. I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to go over here and find the 22 inch curves. Over here, there's a 28, 35 and a quarter sectional. Where's my 22s? There it is, 22 degree, 22 inches. What we're going to do? We're just going to start right here. Where is it touching? Bam. See how easy this is? <laughs> Man, I could I wish I'd have known about this program when I was doing this for my son. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to the copier machine trying to get this thing, <laughs> you know, trying to figure out stuff. This thing is just I love it. But uh let's say our trains are gonna run this way. So we are going to Another little trick you can do, just select all of this and go to home, copy it, deselect it, and paste. Look at here. Bamo. Same 22 inch radius. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. And there we go. Pretty cool, huh? And there we go and we'll pick a turnout I'll pick a number five turnout and it even comes it even tell you you know what kind of turnout it is this is the the number four Bachman easy track right turnout with the DCC decoder built into it we don't want want those we're gonna scroll up is that the decoder yep those are the decoders we're gonna scroll down I'm sorry and come down here We'll put a number five. That's number four. That's a number six. Six. That's a regular left turnout. The regular right turnouts that come with the set. There's a five. And we need a right turnout. Right there. 
and we will get a scroll up here just to get a nine a nine inch straight right there I'm gonna put two sidings in here so what I'm gonna do select that number five go to home copy deselect and paste there's another five turnout right there demo so now we've got two sidings and pretty much everything else pretty much filled in. Will that 36 inch track fit in there? Bammo, yes it will. And come down here and get my other 36, see if that'll fit. Yep. Alright guys, hang on one second. Alright guys, sorry about that. And remember our trains are running this way, right? How about we do this? Since it's joined, if you try and move it, it's going to move what's all joined to it. So, we're going to come here and say disconnect. We're going to pull this little puppy down. And we'll put a number five. Right there. And see on the turnout, you've got the two little things right here. And we're going to hook it to there. Look at there another siding right there we'll scroll or is another 36 right there oh heck I tell you what let's, let's do something crazy let's get another number five same one Whammo. Thirty six inches. Right there. We've got four sidings on a four by eight already. That we could add buildings to and stuff. But anyway, we're not done yet. We gotta fill this in up here to make the whole track plan complete. Alright. We're pretty much at the edge of our you know our things right here. So now it's just kind of like a little, let's do some guesswork here and see if we can, uh, it almost looks like a three. I've done this so much with my, with my layout, it's kind of, there's a four and a half, that's too big, a three inch, let's see how big a three inch is, that fit, nope, that's too big, so we're, uh -oh. sorry guys. We're gonna control Z that and get that out of there. We'll try a two and a quarter. And that's still a little big, no worries. We can scroll down here to the bottom. I believe there's a two inch somewhere. There is a two inch right there. Little shy, but we can just move that up and boop, join it. Let's see if that two inch works over there. Boom, there we go. We have a four by eight layout with four sidings in it. And you can see how long that took me to do. Oh my gosh, I hope this thing has been focused. I gotta go back and look at this. I hope it is not, <laughs> but I hope it has, I mean. But anyway, you can see how that easy that is. Um, and if you want, you can go up to the object libraries, and this is general scenery and G scale iOS, and here's all the HO different people. Uh, just go to Walters, HO Walters structures. You know, if, if you want to put a um, a turntable somewhere on your layout, or the roundhouse, the same way you can rotate it by here, or you can grab the little green thing and rotate it as well and then you can pick it up and it should hook right up to it but so there we go now um, I was going to show you I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with just me with one hand here but all right, that's the structures. You know, you can put structures in here. They've got some label. I think you can download some more. That's a house and all kind of stuff and a water tank. But uh, 
if you want to put, go back to the object libraries, general scenery, HO general scenery, for trees, you know, if you have a bunch of trees, shrubs, tree, <laughs> shrub, you know, I mean, the list just goes on and on. But uh, let me back these out. It's Control Z, do, 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 done. Now, let's get rid of that thing. We'll go up to the track libraries, HO, Pico, and I used a streamline code 100 right there just to show you. But uh, for flex track, there's your flex track right there. Deselect it, and you can just bend it. It's got little arrows how you want the curve to do. And if it does not, if it won't work, I don't know if you can see there's a little red line in there that shows you that's not -uh, bad boo-boo. <laughs> but get it to where it goes. To set your curve, you know, how you wanted it. Or however. See that little red line in there? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But. And stretch it out and if it goes over 36 and eh, it turns like a dark river it's like nope you've gone too far <laughs> but uh, that's how you do the flex track <clears throat> now this thing is a lot more it does elevations but i'm not going to get into that um but th this is a basic thing showing you how easy this thing is um you know i can't say you know enough good things about this software you know this is for the beginner you know just wanting to doing your first layout you know if you got stuff or if you're you know, a seasoned guy, you know, you may not need it, but, I mean, this could save you a lot of time in the long run. But, um, anyway, I guess that's it. We just did a 4x8, you know, in, uh, what, 15 minutes with four sidings, you know, and you could put another siding out here, you know, you just keep on going and going and going. But, uh, it's really simple, and, um, for you guys, a couple of people ask about my layout, and... Here's my layout right there. How it's going to be eventually. I'll zoom in a little bit. Move the camera closer so you can get a better view of it. That's the overhead view right there of how it's going to look. Yeah, and you can put text in here. And it's how I've got stuff color coded and stuff like that. But there you go. When I did uh, manage the, the new building that I did a series on, is. Um, that new warehouse building is coming out in July. It is going to go right there. I'm taking the one I had previously out and putting number 14 right there. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it will fit. So, um, I was pretty excited about that because that's a more modern looking building than the grocery dis distribution center. But, um, but there you go. And, um, I hope that helps. And, uh, if it's, uh, you guys want any more information about any rail? Feel free to ask me. You know, I'll be happy to answer any questions you've got on it because I, I I love this software. Um, but anyway, guys, hang on just one second, and um, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is a little preview for it's probably gonna be my next video. My next video is gonna be probably the one I most ask about and requested is the decal and there's one of my decal sheets ready to go to the printer it has already been to the printer and is on one of Vinny's uh, custom built structures but uh, anyway this is one of the programs I use is Corel draw and um, I'll show you guys how to do that and what I use it to print out you know and everything my prep stuff for the decals and stuff but anyway, just a little preview but um, one more quick little thing, and uh, then now I've kept you enough. But anyway, one more quick little thing. Pause right quick. Hang on, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is what you need to do if you're on YouTube watching this. Please come join this group, man. It's an awesome bunch of guys. Uh, really helpful stuff. You know, lots of questions. You know, if you have any questions, if, if I can't answer, I'm sure somebody else in this group can. Um, kudos to Derek Glass for starting this and uh, also the modeler modeler man Mike with the YouTube modelers live uh, will be kicking off at the beginning of next month uh, stay tuned for that for some info 
uh, really cool guys, very talented people uh, putting this together. You definitely get some tips and learn some stuff from these guys uh, just to enhance and make your model railroad look better. I think we all want to make it look the best as we can. So, and uh, these guys definitely have have the skills and the and the chops to to help you make your railroad look better. And I think that's awesome that they're willing to share you know their information and their tips and stuff for free, you know, to you or to us. You know, because I I definitely learned some stuff from uh, everybody. You know, I try and learn take something from everybody's video. But anyway, guys, that's it. I've taken up enough of your time. Next video coming up will be the decal video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a happy Memorial Day weekend. Later.